That's the main thing to take care of yourself. Drink some water. Your pee probably smell like acetone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey. So I told you all recently in my empties video that I wanted to share some of my favorite self-care items with you all. And I'm definitely going to be doing that with you all today. I definitely have a little bit of everything for everybody and we're going to go ahead and dive into it. But before we get into today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. But if you give me a thumbs down, nobody really cares because they can't see it anymore. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So to make this video more organized and easier to follow, I have actually split my current self-care favorites up into categories. I am going to start today's video with one of my absolute favorite self-care categories, and that, honey, is fragrance, okay? And those of you who are not new here already know where this is headed. Shout out to Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. In case you are not hip, Dossier is an inspired by or dupe house that is just going to give you a luxurious experience without the luxurious cost okay because we are trying to be better with our budgeting in 2022 when you order from dossier you get this super cute box that says iconic sense designer quality and no markups we love to save a dollar. In your box, you get this branded index card. And on the flip side of that card, you're gonna get the name of the fragrance as well as what fragrance it was inspired by, the notes, the concentration of the fragrance. And the absolute best part outside of the affordable pricing for me is that if you don't like a fragrance for whatever reason, be it if it just don't smell good, if it doesn't work with your body chemistry, if it isn't long lasting enough for you, guess what? You can easily return that fragrance or swap it out for another one with no haggle and no stress. These last couple of weeks, I have been trying out the floral grapefruit fragrance from Dossier, and this one is inspired by Chanel Chance. This one, this is fresh, it's fruity, it's flirty, it's fun. We love alliteration here. This is a great everyday fragrance, especially this time of year when it's warmer. But I can also see this being worn during the cooler months, but probably more so during the daytime. I absolutely love this fragrance. I have worn this a few times over the last couple of weeks and the performance is crazy. I also got Aquatic Coconut and this one is inspired by Beach Walk from Maison Margiela. Another one that I absolutely love, this one. Oh, this one is also really great for this time of year because it's also really fresh. But this one has a bit more depth and sweetness to it that just makes it a bit more grown and sexy, which y'all know is my lane, okay? This is absolutely perfect for vacation. In fact, I'm going to wear this when I go on vacation in the next couple of weeks. Even if you aren't going to the beach or on vacation, this is still a great everyday fragrance. I absolutely love this scent, but I will say that it is an eau de toilette, so it doesn't really last too, too long on my skin. So I do typically take the bottle with me to kind of, you know, refresh after about the five or six hour mark because it's worth it. It smells, oh, it smells so good. You all already know how much we love Dossier here. So if you or someone you know is interested in trying out Dossier, make sure you check the link as well as my coupon code down below in the description box. And thanks so much again to Dossier for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. I have one more fragrance that I absolutely have to mention because I have been obsessed from the second that I tested it out in Sephora. And this is the Clean Classic Warm Cotton Eau de Parfum. Now, as a black person in America, I don't particularly like that this is named Warm Cotton, you know what I'm saying? But when I smell this in Sephora, when I say my eyes rolled back, I'm from the old school, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with my grandmother washing clothes and hanging them out on a clothesline. And this just, this just takes me back to those days, okay? Ugh! Just fresh, clean laundry. Like, I have maybe had this fragrance for like a week and I have already put a cute little dent in her because it smells so damn good. I will say that this one also does not give me great performance and I do have to top it off after about five or six hours, but honey, Oh, it smells so good, I don't even care. I don't even care. If you or someone you know is into super fresh, clean scents, definitely pick this up because, whew, 
so good. So those are all of the fragrances that I wanted to mention. Let me go ahead and dive into hair care. So because I have chosen peace for my life, I haven't really been filming a lot of wash days. Although y'all haven't been seeing it, for the most part, I have still been washing my hair and I have been using this Trey Lux Curl Renew and Restore Gentle Cleansing Rinse. I have used this probably for my last four or five wash days that y'all have not and will not see. This is an amazing shampoo. It has this kind of aloe vera-y consistency, which you already know what that means. We're getting slick, okay? I feel like at this point I have preached and preached multiple times on my channel about a shampoo giving what it was supposed to have gave with a thorough cleanse while also giving manageability and slip. This gives me exactly that. I know, I know, you're skeptical because I have partnered with Trelex before, but honey, that was on the styling products. They're not paying me to mention this shampoo, although they probably could. I have been obsessed and this has been my go-to for the last several wash days. And if you have not gotten your hands on it, check the link in the description box. You're welcome. This next product that I have been obsessed with lately, I randomly decided to revisit it when I did a wash and go previously and I have just been using it nonstop ever since. This is the Oyen Handmade Juices and Berries. OG, okay? OG. This has been in the game for a very, very long time, and that's because it works. If you use this, not only is your hair going to be soft and shiny, but it's going to smell intoxicating. There is a reason that this has been around and has been a staple in this community for so long. For me, this is just the refreshers of all refreshers. And I'm so glad that I have recently fallen back in love with this because Absolutely. So those have been my current obsessions and go-tos when it comes to my hair care. Let me go ahead and dive into wellness. So first up is the Hum Daily Cleanse Supplement, which looks like this. I have mentioned this to you all in a vlog and I actually just mentioned this in my recent empties as well. I have been taking these supplements consistently every day since I first got them in PR. I have purchased them a couple of times. In fact, I actually waited until this moment to take them for today. You're supposed to take two a day. These are about the size of the capsules. I ain't gonna lie, the capsules could be a little bit smaller to make them easier to take. But as far as the benefits that I have seen since I've been taking them consistently the last few months, when I first started taking these, I was going through a bit of a rough patch and my skin was on the fritz. Within the first couple of weeks of taking these, I felt like my skin just looked brighter and clearer and smoother. And honey, I did go hold you. That was all that I needed to see in order for me to invest my actual money into it. I was already saying to you all and to myself that I needed to get back on my supplement game anyway. So why not invest and continue to invest in a supplement that I know has been beneficial to me already? The answer is yes. You're welcome. Another supplement that I have actually been taking for years, but I've just recently upped my dosage. This is Milk Thistle and I take these in 1000 milligrams. I actually need to take this today as well. This is about the size of the capsule. I don't know if that's gonna really register, but this one's actually really easy to take. I only take one of these a day. I told you all in my empties that I have been taking Milk Thistle for years just to help the areas of improvement that I need when it comes to my blood work. And I actually recently just upped my doses to these. Obviously, I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist. I'm just doing what works best for me. But if you have some genetic predispositions or you just can't get your life together when it comes to your diet and exercise and all of that, I would definitely look into Milk Thistle and see how it could be beneficial to you because it has been a game changer for me. The last supplement that I want to mention today is fenugreek. Of course, we know that fenugreek is beneficial to hair care. I have also heard that fenugreek has some breastfeeding benefits as well, but personally, I don't use it for that. This might be TMI to some, but I'm grown and this is my channel. I initially started taking fenugreek during my lady time so I could smell like syrup and not like nickels, you know what I'm saying? But come to find out, fenugreek has a ton of great benefits from digestion and even aiding and clearing skin as well. So I have been obsessed with taking these the last several months. I 
will say that I don't necessarily take them every day like I do my other supplements, but I will say out of a full seven day week, I'm taking Finger Greek at least three to four times a week. These are 500 milligram capsules. And so when I take Finger Greek, I take two of those a day. And not only is my skin gonna be clear, not only is my digestion gonna be A1, I'm also gonna smell like sweet syrupy goodness and we love to see it. While we're somewhat on the topic of my lady parts, I do want to mention a couple of feminine washes that I have been absolutely loving. This one I mentioned in my empties video as well. This is the BH Essentials Daily Feminine Wash pH Balance, which looks like this. I mentioned in my empties how affordable and accessible this is on Amazon. It does what it needs to do, you know what I'm saying? Gives you a thorough cleanse, it's pH balanced. It also has antifungal properties in case you're having some some issues down there. This just helps me keep my purse nice and fresh and balanced and clean and I would definitely recommend it. Another feminine wash that I have been loving on lately is this one from Sweet Spot Labs. I also picked this up on Amazon. This is another McKenna Walker recommendation. As you can see, this is fragrance free. I love both feminine washes that I mentioned, but this one in particular, I would definitely recommend if you have drier skin down there because this is a more rich and creamy formulation but it's fragrance free it's going to give you what you need as far as cleanliness but it's not going to leave your skin feeling stripped and dry so definitely recommend this as well so that was a quick little wellness feminine hygiene segue let me go ahead and dive into some of my skincare obsessions so first up is this mandelic acid and superfood unity exfoliant from youth to the people which you can see how heavily I have been loving on this recently. I have been loving to use this on my exfoliating days lately. I told you all in my Sephora recommendations and wish list video that I definitely underestimated this when I first got it because of how how hard I was going with my exfoliation. Things got a little bit out of hand and I definitely had to dial myself back. This has been absolutely perfect for me because while it's removing all of the dirt and oil and the overall congestion that I experience in my pores, this is also helping with my hyperpigmentation and it's still gentle and hydrating enough to where my skin feels soft after using it. Not stripped down. I have used this during the day, but typically when I'm exfoliating, it's usually in my nighttime skincare and listen just get it and thank me later this is the cause rx advanced snail mucin power essence which looks like this shout out to my good sis denise adore for putting us on to this here fountain of youth first of all if you haven't been watching denise's skincare videos you're probably aging like a banana and second of all if you have not gotten your hands on this here snail slime as i like to call it what are you doing this is so hydrating it's softening it just makes my skin so plump and radiant and i absolutely love it it don't matter if it's daytime nighttime the wrong time the right time denise has been raving about the snail slime forever and i remember vividly when i finally tried it and i immediately text her and she was like bitch i told you literally everyone that i know that has tried this absolutely loves it so if you have not gotten your hands on this the link is in the description box boo so folks these are my current obsessions my current self-care favorites make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know if we have any in common or if you're going to be trying out anything that i mentioned here today of course for your ease of access i will have every single product that i mentioned here today linked down below in the description box on your way to watching another video of mine please make sure that you like share and subscribe thank you so 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 much for watching Please, please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.